My name is Keith Smith. I'm the Director of Dining Services at the Masary Residence in Albany, New York. The following video is our submission for Compass in the Community for the year 2012. In conjunction with the Daughters of Sarah Senior Community and LaSalle Boys School in Albany, New York, we've embarked upon a program to try to uh, assist young men that are housed at LaSalle Boys School in an entry-level culinary program based on our ACTS program through Compass Group, the Associate Culinary Training Series. What we've done for the last two years is on Monday evening have a, a classroom setting where we are one hour of actual book and review and then we have an hour and a half to two hours of the actual meal preparation so the boys are able to do hands-on tasks and then we follow each night up with a dinner that we all sit down together and eat. What we were trying to get out of this program is not necessarily to get the boys to attain a culinary position, but give them the skills to potentially go out and, and attain a culinary position, but also give them life skills to be able to cope with the outside world. Uh, most of the youth that you see in the video are housed at the facility for a series of mistakes either made uh, in their previous or uh, have become wards of the state due to family issues. The young men that you're about to see are all very bright, very intelligent, but for some reason or another decided to stray off the path that we would call normal. What these young men need more than anything else is to somebody to pat them on the back and let them know that they are valuable, that they do a good job. Every night as we sit down and eat, we're able to taste the food that these young men have created, and it gives them such a feeling of self-esteem, which may not have been there previously. As the program grew through last year and this year, we had more young men in the class, and we were actually tasked this year, in addition to our weekly classes, to perform an hors d'oeuvre station for a holiday party going on around Christmas time, an open house for LaSalle Boys School, if you will. We were, uh, we were supposed to make food for 150 people, uh, fantastic hors d'oeuvres that uh, the, the young men made all themselves. The 150 ended up turning into 300. It was quite a spectacular event, and we were definitely the shining point of the evening. Um, they did such fantastic things as uh, horseradish stuffed shrimp uh, wrapped in bacon. They did uh, filet mignon en crostini with uh, horseradish uh, aioli. They made a fantastic anapasta station. You'll see in some of the fantastic photos that we have included what these young men are capable of. They far exceeded anything that they possibly thought they could have done before they entered into this class. If nothing else out of this class, we hope that the young men have uh, achieved a, a, a feeling of self-worth. So anyway, on with the show. Um, I, I just want to tell everybody that I'm definitely pledging myself to do this again next year, and I, I hope every year that we continue to grow bigger and better. So, so much for year two, and we're looking forward to year three. Please enjoy the presentation. My name is Harry. I'm here for committing assault in the third degree in violation of probation at the age of 15. I'm Mike, and I come from a dysfunctional home. Hi, my name is Robert. The reason why I'm here is I skipped school for a whole year. My name is Elijah Newton. I committed grand larceny at the age of 17. My name is Harry. I now know the difference between sautéing and stir-frying. In the kitchen, I know what knife to use for the right job. I now know the proper way to stock a walk-in cooler. My name is Bill Wolf. I'm the executive director here at LaSalle School and have been here for nearly 30 years. 
This program that Morrison and, and Keith has been doing with the with the young people here has been absolutely terrific for two years. The young the young guys that come here are not unlike folks that we knew growing up and, and, and kids that we were all familiar with and in many cases could have just as easily been one of us. Uh, their stories are, are a lot more complex than what you've already heard. But the thing to remember about them is that they're young people. And what young people need, I think, more than anything is to have an opportunity to get a positive vision of themselves in the future. If There's plenty of things that LaSalle does or tries to do, but one thing is we try to help kids understand that they can, that they can achieve things, they can do more than they thought they could otherwise. This program, uh, in cooperation with Daughters of Sarah and, 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 and Morrison, is just exactly that. It's the kind of thing that kids see as very realistic very hands-on, very practical, and the ability to interact with someone like Chef, and they all call him Chef, is just so genuine and so good to see. So we're so pleased that, uh, to have had this opportunity, and uh, if we could replicate this everywhere, we would do it over and over again. So thanks to all of our friends at Compass. Hi, I'm Joan Healy. I'm the Chief Operating Officer at Daughters of Sarah Senior Community. I'm also on the Board of Trustees at LaSalle School for Boys. I want to offer my support for Keith Smith for the award that Compass in the Community gives for 2012. Keith designed and implemented a culinary training program for the, boys, the young men and boys at LaSalle School that showed an amazing effort of skill, dedication, and spirit. The Masary Culinary Training Program not only helped the individual boys, but it also helped the entire LaSalle community. The holiday party that Keith and the young men participated in really increased fundraising efforts at that party. Human service organizations are constantly facing cuts by the government, and LaSalle has faced many of those cuts in recent years. With the donations that were given at the LaSalle holiday party, more programs could be offered to the young men at LaSalle. The young men were also showcased in a manner that had never been done before. Government officials and donors were very, very impressed. I want to express my gratitude, pride, and thanks to Keith, the Morrison and Compass groups for all that they've done for the boys at LaSalle School. Thank you so much. If you could do one thing to change the world, what would you do? I'm going to be a history teacher. Thank you, Compass, for caring. I can't wait for next year. Thank you, Compass, for caring. Thank you, Compass, for making Monday nights fun. Compass Group, thanks for giving me a chance to shine. <laughs> That's all, folks. <laughs>